talking about something about computer sizes and stuff, I he was explaining something to me and I was lost interest, but you probably don't, you all, you two people probably know what he's talking about, something about, what were you saying, PS80 or something, <laughs> I can't remember what you're saying now. It's alright, man. Like something about different sizes, or Nintendo, and could do it, what you could do back then. Yeah, it's just video qualities and editing. Really nothing important. <sighs> you know? Well, it's because I was interested, and maybe somebody here might be interested in it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not really too worried about it. I just, uh, you know, was just chatting about video quality. That biggie. But, we forgot the big key, apparently. On all this way, well, all the way to the end of the game, oh, we need a hammer, all the hammer, oh, forgot, forgot the big key. Uh -huh. So now I'm more backtracking. That's right. That's a lot of what this uh, game is in the dungeons, is backtracking. I think it was a rope in the first uh, Legend of Zelda where you could go to the very front, front of the dungeon. Is it a rope? I can't remember. I don't think it was a row. I think it was just if you die. You, I think it was just dying. Oh, uh, there might have been an item. I can't remember. In one of the Zeldas where that takes you to the very beginning of the dungeon. Maybe I'm referring to something else, but I thought there was a rope. Or maybe that's a different game. I think that might be Secret. Star Tropics. Or Secret of Mana. Secret, Secret Mana has a rope. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember rope in Secret of Mana. Just getting my games crossed over. These little guys make it really hard for us to get over this jump. Like I'm just trying to jump right there. We can't get across this ledge at all. They made it impossible. So a lot of key switches puzzles in this game. I wonder if, what the technical name for those uh, switches are. What switches? The, the, the crystal, crystal switches? Yeah. I think, called the crystal, I think they're called crystal switches. Yeah, I got that. I think <laughs> it's on to that. That's actually an important spot right there, I think. Yeah. That bridge. I think you'll figure that, that out for later. Because it leads to the boss room, I think. I think, but I could be wrong. Where's the big key in this dungeon? No idea of nothing. I remember we already saw it. It's like on the other side of these uh, stairs or something. There's I thought we need a key. Not a big key, but it's a small key. I think eventually we jump down these down here to realize that oh yeah, it's all down. This is where the difficulty starts to step up a little bit. But we do not check. But we do not check. Still, all this right now is still we're all going blind right now. We haven't fully separate. We don't really check these dungeons. We're just exploring them like crazy. Yeah, I think it's funner that way. But I mean, it's, the last two dungeons we did definitely had to check the map. But these ones here are just. Like in Star Wars. Which is pretty cool actually. They even thought enough to put the traps in and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Pretty much from now on until the end of the game, whenever we see an anti-fairy, we try to catch it or, or turn it into a fairy. If we have magic and if we have bottle space. And if we're not full health. Yeah. At least I do. I always do. I think it's the point that we started talking about how you wanted to get rid of that one bottle of tea in it. Yeah. 
Okay, no. Uh, Don't like save use it on camera and stuff. It's, it is an awesome game. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's one of the neater things in this game. The neat, neat thing that I didn't even know really existed was that um that mini game. Okay, there's a mini game built into this game that I didn't even know was there. It really reminds me of the mini game in uh, Legend of Ocarina of Time. I always thought that was a fun game. It's like arrow oh. shooting. It's this carnival game in town where you shoot arrows. In the in the thief's town. Yeah. Um, it's really cool. I mean, it's not even the game itself, it's the graphics that go with it are really cool. Uh, I guess if you wanted to right there, you could just keep farming, going back and forth here and farming up fairies. Well, we got the big key, we get the hammer, and then we gotta go to the boss. We already, act if you guys remember, we already made it to the, uh, the, what's it called? What's it called? Boss, big, big key, the hammer. Uh, big chest. The chests, yeah. Yeah. Big chests. Well, first we made it to where the boss was, we could get past him without the hammer, and then we made it back to the hammer was, we could get past that without the big key, so now we're <laughs> double, double backing, triple backing. Actually, at first I didn't even notice that you could jump across those gaps like that. Doesn't really look like it to me. Uh. Wow, I did that perfectly. That was pretty cool. Do you ever go in this door up there? I think you ever, did, uh, think you ever get enough creatures to actually get in that door. I don't know, to be honest. I know you can do a jump right here to get to the, that chest with, uh, with a bomb jump, I think. I, I, don't think, I don't think you can get that one because it's locked off by a, a barrier. Some chest that looks very similar to that yeah, one there, where you can do. Yeah, there is one. I think in this game there's one place you can do a bomb jump, but I don't think that's the place. Could be a wrong, yeah. could be a wrong go. I don't know either. I just know it looks like that, where it's like this platform, and across the room is a big chest. I've seen people do it in on Twitch on speedrun. How long do you think it takes you to do a speedrun of this game? It depends what type of speedrun you're doing. There's like a boatload of different ones. Different speed. I thought speedrunning was to, to get done as fast as you can. I don't know there's like... You know, there's all these glitches in the game and every type of... So, like, there's speedrunning without glitches, for one. So basically, the game itself without cheating. I mean, if you consider a glitch cheating, I do personally. Uh, not all glitches are cheats, because some of them, well, eh, it's hard to, exp it's a hard topic. So, basically, they're speedrunning without glitching at all, and that, uh, you know, I think that takes, I'm not sure what the world record for that is, but I would guess it's anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I could be wrong, though. And then there's speedrunning with glitches, how fast you can beat the game with glitches. Um, but you're, and then some, but you're glitch, oh, you're glitch free. I don't know. I don't really. I might. I like seeing them all. There's speed runnings that only allow certain glitches, you know. And uh, there's a speed running where you have to get everything in the game, uh, and then uh, then beat the game. And then there's speed runnings where you just don't have to get the bare minimum and then beat the game. I mean, there's just a lot of different ones, different categories. I would call them. Uh, so again, how long does it take, take you, you to beat this game? Me? Uh, we used a glitch that got it done in three minutes. Oh, I mean, oh yeah. Put an alert, you'll see this in a future video. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not legitimate speedrun. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. We already talked about if we could just go through the whole game without collecting any items and just uh, the bare, battling our way through. Just the bare minimum of, not, the bare minimum of items that we get in the dungeon, the, bare minimum, the, the ice rod. Except for the ice rod, we need, definitely need the ice rod. It'll take like, I don't know, two hours to an hour, maybe. It's just a guess, though. Maybe we can find someone to do a, a race with. Oh, it wouldn't be any good. We'd lose, but it would be fun to do. By the way, how did you do races with your Mega Man race with? What, Old War Gamer? Was that old, old Gamer, was that his name? Mm-hmm. 
How do we do it? Yeah. We raced each other through Skype. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just play the game on both your computers and start at the same time. And someone records a Skype call. And then uh, we recorded each other's uh, videos on our s separate computers and then we sent them to each other, I think. Okay. We did it finally. We're like 90% of the way there. This is a very hard dungeon. It's simple to what's coming up later. Well, I think, I don't know if it's just this dungeon, I think it is. There's a, this next room, there's a room in the northern... Maybe it's an extra room, I can't remember, we'll see. It's like the northern room in here that is really hard. I'm getting my dungeons confused. Do I turtle? I think this, this is the room where we try to kill the turtles and we kept knocking back over a... Uh, couldn't see anything because the lamp light was out. I would think I was like, light the lamps, light the lamps! It's very hard to kill them because when there's a lot of them, because the hammer doesn't stun all of them all the time, it only stuns like one at a and, time. So and then. you hit the hammer again while it was like, over, it turns back on uh, 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 stomach again. So it turns, like, like the double hammer, like, hammer it once, and the hammer again, oh, you rescued it. Like a rescuing rescuer. Turtle turned over on his back, yeah, that's classic rescue scenario. Um, I can't roll over. Oh man, my mom made strawberry shortcake. Oh, dude, I'm gonna eat the shit out of that. Is it good? Yeah, we got strawberries from the local farm, so... I'm gonna go eat some after this. Block puzzle. Oh, finally did it. This legitimate this boss legitimately took us a while too. Was our first boss death. Well, we didn't know the correct strategy. I don't know. It's we do know we did know the strategy, but it doesn't work like they say. Uh, like you. <coughs> You're supposed to hit them. Oh, this is pro right here, by the way. So it should be in the highlight reel. Fairy's on the other side of the wall. Snipe. Got it. Like, like, like a boss. That was pro. <coughs> so you're supposed to hit him in the face with the hammer to break his mask, and then I think you're supposed to sword him after that. But I ended up just sorting him the whole time in the kill that we got, I think, because the hammer is just so inaccurate. He is the hell of a sword king. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. We tested bombs. Like, I can't ever tell if he's getting hit. Like, I just. I think I. really just think I hit him there like four times. His chips off it. His chips on his mask fall off. Oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I didn't like that strategy or something. But we got him. We him. We're gonna end up dying here. I think I kept the death in like a fool. You see, this it just doesn't look like it's doing anything to him when you whack him with the hammer. And you're so close range, it's hard not to hit his bright. Uh, so. Game over, people. Bye. Who's oh, Adventure of Link? Oh, wait. Not over. We flash forward back to this part. It's like the one instance in this entire series where we actually cut out video gameplay footage. Everything else was always kept in. There might have been one other instance. It was either kept in or, or sped up. But it's really boring to see us get all the way back there, so I cut it out. It's not fun. We just spent like 15 minutes trying to get through there, and now you want to see us do it again? 
I think we can speed up the the multiple fight. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to speed up a whole return. Like a whole run back through the dungeon. He's <laughs> throwing grenades out. Well, not grenades, but bombs. He snipes you with his tail. See, I think there's a sniper on the swipe. Yeah, which is... It's actually kind of cool if you look at the graphics of it. There goes the mask. No, you just sort him. Kinda looks like, uh... What does he look like? A chameleon a little bit. Hold on. I don't know what a helmet is. I think there's a little thing that the master looks at those little helmet horses. Oh, yeah. Probably. Many helmet horses. And... What's, what's the next box? Beat him with one heart left too. I don't know how many fairies we have, but we had one heart. We have two hearts. Well, we have two now because we picked up. Oh one. yeah. Time for more backstory. If you care about that, read it. If you don't, skip the next video. If the next video is up by now. If you're watching this when it's uploaded, it won't be. If you're watching this days later, it might be. Mm -hmm. Ah, he'll, he'll show us where to go next. That's where the other six maidens are. Or five maidens and a princess. Because your, your princess is in, a, is in another castle. That's Mario. I know. Alright guys, see ya. Yeah.